Hi folks, uh, not an episode of NYC CNC today, but rather actually I uh, would like to ask a favor uh, or some advice. I have a gear and a shaft that I've had problems with and here is the backstory. I haven't talked anything about this project because honestly I don't know if it's ever going to come to fruition, but one of the things I've been working on is automating a Dillon 1050 machine. There's some folks that have already done it and they've done a decent job at it. I think there's a different way that has its own merits uh, of doing it. I'll I'll talk about that later if the project ever works. But what it but what it involves is a pretty beefy uh, motor, high torque motor that is in my instance starting and stopping in my instance going forward and reverse in really short like 2 second cycles. So that puts uh, a lot of strain on a motor and it and requires the right motor and the right controller. Um, here's what happened. It's a worm, worm uh, gear motor, and this is the, uh, so the stator itself has the other gear on it, and that mates to this gear, which this is then the output shaft that would then hook through a clutch mechanism into the 1050. What's happened was, this was originally only a neural press fit, and that didn't work, and that's honestly not surprising. The uh, motor company I'm working with then keyed it, and they had a key in there, and what happened a few weeks ago was I, I stripped the key or severed the key. Get some. Which you can see right there. So, um, I, but I did that when we were testing out different controller motor driver profiles, and I think it was hyper extending it. So, I actually don't chalk that up to a motor failure because I was really abusing it beyond what it should be done. So talk to the folks again at the motor company and they, um, I've got a new worm gear and output shaft. It was knurled with a press fit and then they increased the key from um, 3 30 seconds to 1 8. That's the biggest key that they'll do. My real question for you guys is should I, oh sorry, and this output shaft is I think 1144 and this is bronze. So should I try to, I think braze is the only way to, to mate these two together. No, you know, knowing that bronze is such a relatively soft material and this is going to be cycling back and forth something like two to 3,000 times an hour when it's being used. And that's a lot of back and forth and keys can be great, but if a key starts to have any play in it, it'll just keep working itself loose. So the thought or question is, if you fill that in with 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 braze or or whatever the right technique would be, does that help the key stay in its place and continue to hold the torque uh, over a, a longer lifespan? Recognizing that at some point this thing will probably fail, but the question is, can I get it to an acceptable point where it's a marketable product? So. I would actually really appreciate uh, your help and input on this uh, in the comments below. Thanks, folks.